Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial brought to you by Louis Art. It's your boy Emmanuel Okafo, and today basically I'll be showing you guys two awesome methods, and I think the only method of retopologizing inside Blender. So what is retopology? If you are, if you in case you don't know, basically it's creating a cleaner version of your existing mesh. So with awesome softwares like Blender, uh, ZBrush, it's very easy to create um, really high detailed um, digital assets so the only problem is that you can use that in animation because it's very high density um, density so and it's gonna be really sl slow to work with and I'm most and most of the times it doesn't just work at all so to work with those kind of mesh or models um, it's easier to just create a cleaner version and then bake the details onto those um, so that's what I'll be showing today how you can create this cleaner version so as I said earlier, they are just basically two methods of achieving this in Blender. Um, so let's let me show you guys how. Uh, let me show you guys the different methods. So for the first method, let's just select this plane and put it in place. So let's say this is our starting point for our retopology process. Okay. So what we want to do now, selecting this mesh, we want to go to the modifier, and under the form, you want to select shrink wrap. For the target, we'll select Suzanne, and the only thing we want to also change is from on surface, you want to switch it to above surface, okay? And now we can also click on this triangle, and we are all set. Now we can just basically go into the edit mode and select vertex edges and just move it, and we can get the underlining mesh. But right now, it's not precise because you get some... Um, unwanted, unwanted motion. So to be more precise, you want to enable the snapping feature. So just click on this magnet and make sure it's set to face. You can leave everything as default. So now you can, you will notice that it works more precise as you want. So you can just basically um, map out the underlying shape. So this method is really powerful. Um, it works best for organic shape, um, especially. Uh, if your model already has its overall shape and design finalized and you just want to um, like trace onto the mesh so this method works best for that um, it's down, uh, the way it doesn't work well if you want to retopologize and also model in that process because um, since it's a sh shrink wrap modifier you cannot extrude your model if not you get really weird stuff um, that's where the second method comes into place so let's delete that plane. So for the second method, we just put it in place. Um, so as you can notice, um, as I move this plane, you see it tries to follow the underlying mesh, trying to match its normal. Um, the reason for that is basically because I set it to face, and by default, all these things are not enabled. Okay, so you want to make sure you enable all of this. That's where by that's when you can have this cool stuff. So what we can do with this is we can use it for our topology process. So we can go into edit mode and start retopologizing. So it works even better than shrink wrap, and it's really powerful for retopologizing hard surface models. So okay. So let's say um, we want to add some edge loops um, to bring out the shape even more better. Um, the way to do that, you just press Ctrl R, you add an edge loop, and unlike the shrink wrap that will automatically match the underlying mesh, this one you have to press G, and then it's going to match the underlying mesh. So let's do that again, Ctrl R, and press G, and it matches. So this is very powerful because now you can also model in the process because you're not using any modifier. So you can model while you retopologize. Okay, so one more feature um, you could use with this method is the displacement map. Um, because right now you can see it's, um, this geometry is protruding through this one. So let's say you want to um, have a clear preview of this the mesh you are retopologizing. A way to do that is just add displacement uh, modifier and you can use the strength. Let's set this to zero. So you can use the strength to like make it more visible. 
why you read topologize and it works perfectly um, it doesn't destroy any workflow so let's select it extrude we can press ctrl r to add and press g make sure you have your press g and it matches the underlying mesh yeah so that's it guys that's the two awesome method for creating retopology in blender so i hope this video was helpful to you guys if you enjoy it why not you just go down and hit the like button uh, and if you wish to see more from me don't forget to hit that subscribe button i uh, i try to post really helpful videos and post as regular as i can as regularly as i can okay so thank you again for watching bye bye for now see you next time